Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video we are going to discuss paper 4 IGCSE Mathematics 058042 Feb March 2021 solutions. So let's start with the question number 1 without delay. And here is the question number 1. There are uh, some prizes for painter, plumber, electrician. They uh, have charged, they have fixed price like painter charges $35 per hour fixed charges for plumber is $40 plus $26.50 per hour and electrician for first two hours $48 per hour then $32 per hour these are the rate charges charges by painter plumber and electrician who do some work for Mr. Sharma. So A part is the painter works for 7 hours. Calculate the amount Mr. Sharma pays the painter. So painter charges 35 rupees uh, sorry 35 dollar 35 dollar per hour. So if he will work the painter will work for 7 hours the cost would be 35 dollar into 7 and that is going to be 7 5 is a 35 and 7 3 is a 21 3 24 so the cost of plum uh, painter is 245 dollar let's discuss the b part b part mr sharma pays plumber the plumber 252 dollar calculate how many hours plumber works let me bring that here so that it, you can, it can be easily seen. So here is the charges by plumber. 252 is the total amount Mr. Sharma pays. So for out of 252, fixed price, fixed charge for plumber is $40. So 252 minus $40 will give the amount for two, uh, for per hour. So it is going to be two hundred and twelve dollar now per hour two sixty twenty six point five zero dollar per hour so it means one hour charges is twenty six point five zero so it means if for two hundred and two hundred and twelve we can see the charges would be one over twenty six point five zero multiplied by 212 that would be the hours and now we will calculate this it's a simple unitary method we can see 212 divided by 26.5 and the answer is 8 hours it is exactly 8 hours uh, next C part is Mr. Sharma pays the electrician 224 dollar calculate how many hours electrician works and here is the charges so out of 224 we can see for first two hours for first two hours the charges is 48 plus 48 that is 96 dollar so for first two hours 96 dollars is the charge out of 224 so the remaining is 224 minus 96 so 224 minus 96 dollar is 128 dollars so 128 dollar will be for the next 32 dollar per hour so it means we can see from here 32 dollar for 32 dollar the timing is one hour so it means for 128 dollars the timing would be one over 32 multiplied by 128 and this is going to be divided by 32 and the answer is 4 so 4 hours here and 2 hours here so altogether there are going to be 6 hours electrician works and the last part D part is write down the ratio of the amount Mr. Sharma pays to the painter we have calculated it this was 245 dollar the plumber it is being provided it was 
we can see from the second part 252 it is 252 dollars and electrician we can see from here it is 224 dollar give your answer in its lowest form so we are going to write in the ratio so 245 is to 252 is to 224 we can see it is not, all of them are not divisible by 2 neither 4 3 so we can check for 7 so that 245 7 3 are 21 and 7 uh, 5 are 7 3 are and 7 6 are 7 3 are and 7 2 are yeah. every uh, number here we, it is divisible by 7 so we will divide it by 7 because we need to write our answer in the lowest form so 245 divided by 7 is 35 because you can see 21 and then 5 yeah so next is 7 7 3s are 21 and 4 is left 7 6 are and the last 22 224 7 3s are 21 and 7 2s are now it cannot be further divisible by any number so the answer in the ratio form would be 35 36 is to 32 and that's the answer i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question now here's the question number two this is a transformation question a part is to describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle a onto triangle b so let's see where is triangle a and triangle b here is triangle a and here is triangle b so first of all we can see that it is transform uh, it's a rotation sorry it's a rotation and that too in the in this direction that is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise and 90 degree how to decide whether it is 90 degree or not we, what this line was vertically upward and now corresponding to this line which is here which it is going to be vertically uh, so it is a horizontal line so we can see the any angle like angle between any two corresponding line is 90 degree so it is why that's why it is rotation by 90 degree no and now we need to tell three things for the rotation because transformation that is rotation first thing and angle angle will in, involve degree and the direction if it is 180 no need to give the direction and the third one is center of rotation so how to find the center of rotation in this case first of all we'll join the two known points we can see the corresponding to this point this is a point corresponding to this 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 is a point we can join these two point will get a line will draw its perpendicular bisector and after getting the perpendicular bisector you will we'll see they will meet at some point and that point is going to be a center of rotation uh, we can also guess sometime because here we can see it is one two three one two three four five we can see this point uh, after rotation again one two three four five and one two three so i can guess that this is going to be a point but the best way is to draw the line join any two corresponding points and draw its perpendicular bisector and we can get the a line of uh, point of intersection easily so i'll draw this now here we can see after joining these two point i draw the perpendicular bisector and i got this point here where these two perpendicular bisector means so this is a point of rotation center of rotation sorry and center of rotation from here we can see it is minus one two three so minus three comma one two two so minus three comma two is the center of rotation so now we got all the three things rotation angle of rotation direction with direction as well as the center of rotation so we'll write these three together triangle a on to triangle b is first thing is rotation rotation and it is 90 degree anti-clockwise 90 degree anti-clockwise with center of rotation center of 
rotation minus 3 comma 2. So one mark for rotation, another one mark for 90 degree clockwise and the center of rotation will again give you one mark. So that's why it is of three marks. Next question is triangle A onto triangle C. So let's check now. And for A onto triangle C, we can see they got it is enlargement because one triangle is bigger and another triangle is smaller. So let me remove the other things first of all so that it would be clear. So I joined the two corresponding points. Uh, it is not required to join all the corresponding points because in the center of uh, actually by joining the corresponding points we only search the center of enlargement. So center of enlargement means the intersection of two line and that means we only require the two corresponding lines. So that is the center of enlargement and uh, for this we require three things again. First thing is it is an enlargement. Next one is uh, like center of enlargement and third one is to scale factor. So center of enlargement we can see from here it is minus 2 comma minus 1. It is minus 2 here and minus 1 here. So center of enlargement is minus 2 comma minus 1 uh, and we can remember this uh, whenever the center of enlargement center of enlargement lies between the two image object and image uh, so it is going to be negative and the scale factor scale factor is going to be negative and scale factor is final length upon initial length any corresponding length so I'll take this length we can see this was earlier 4 now after transformation it become 2 so scale factor is scale factor is final length 2 over initial length that is 4 and since it is the center is in between these two that's why it would be minus and hence it is minus 1 by 2 the scale factor is minus 1 by 2 so I will write let's write these things so triangle A onto triangle C is enlargement enlargement will give one mark and after enlargement the center of enlargement is we can write center of enlargement we got minus 2 comma minus 1 and with scale factor with scale factor minus 1 over 2 why minus because the center of enlargement lies between the uh, original figure original triangle and the final triangle now next part is to draw the image of deep B part draw the image of triangle A after a translation by the vector minus 5 minus 10 so minus 5 is the horizontal translation and minus 10 is the vertical translation and minus means horizontal uh, translation can be two ways either towards the left or right minus means going in this direction and plus means plus means going ahead so here it is minus 5 means we will go towards the left by 5 unit Similarly, for vertical transformation translation, we have either going up, up means plus, and going down means it is minus. And here it is minus 10, so it would be minus means going down by 10 unit. So let's translate it now. Minus 5 means going this direction. So corresponding to this point, we got it here, minus 5 and minus 10. This transformation minus uh, translation minus 5 vector, vector minus 5 minus 10 will give this and the C part the last part draw the image of triangle A after a reflection in the line y equals 4 y equals 4 will draw the y equals 4 line and then we'll reflect the triangle A so here's the y equals 4 line because it is passing through y equals uh, 4 and everywhere you can see that this coordinate is going to be minus 5 comma 4. So it means on this line everywhere y coordinate is 4 that's why this line is y equals 4. And now we'll reflect this we have like I have uh, reflected it we can see from this line one unit above this object is lying so just exactly one unit below this portion will come so corresponding to this point we got this corresponding to this point we got this point and 
we can count the vertical distance of the corner another vertex from the line we can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so from this line from this point the another vertex the reflection of this will lie exactly 9 unit below it so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so after getting these three vertices we can draw the triangle and that's the reflection of triangle a by the line y equals 4 i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question now here's the third a part the diagram shows two straight lines intersecting two parallel lines so it means these two are parallel lines and these two are transversal because they are intersecting these two parallel lines find the values of a b and c uh, from here we can directly say that a is going to be 120 degree because it is vertically vertically opposite angle voa and uh, if we see that this is 120 so these two angles are going to be co-interior angle co-interior angle means if we have the parallel lines and there is a transversal so these two interior angles are called co-interior angle and co-interior angles are supplementary so it means if it is 180 so this angle would be 180 minus 120 degree and this will give 60 degree why i have found this because it we can again use the vertically opposite angle we could have done it here because this is linear pair 120 so it would be of course 180 minus 120 that is 60 degree and then again it is by corresponding angles these two are same so we can write from here also that b is going to be 60 degree and after getting the 60 degree we can see the this is a quadrilateral and all the three angles are given so fourth angle by angle some property we'll use c degree as 360 minus 120 plus 60 plus 63 so this will calculate 360 minus it is 180 and 180 plus 63 180 plus 63 it is going to be 243 and hence c value is 360 minus this value and the answer is 170 so i have used this property we could have done it directly again by using the same property that they are going to your angle and they would be supplementary so it is if it is 63 degree this would be 180 minus 63 degree again we could have got the 170 degree so whatever method it, uh, hits early first uh, we, we can try that and we can get the answer let's discuss the next question now here's the b part point r and s lie on a circle with type it's a typo from my side i have typed this so it's a pq is a diameter and r and s lies on lie on the circle so we can see if it is a circle uh, or let's read the question rest of the question rq is parallel to ps these two are parallel angle rpq is 58 degree rpq it is 58 degree find the value of x giving a geometrical reason for each stage of your working so if these two are parallels we can see that angle we can write it also angle r q p would be x degree why because of alternating interior angles I'm writing only a i a but we should write the whole thing alternate interior angles are equal if you have the parallel lines and next this angle angle p r q is 90 degree because angle in the semicircle angle in semicircle we have given that pq is a diameter so angle in the semicircle here is going to be 90 degree if we join q to x that, uh, that angle will also be 90 degree but we don't require it now by angle some property if this is 90 degree 
so by angle sum property i'm writing asp but we should write angle sum property 90 plus 58 and this angle we have written that this is x plus x should be 180 and hence x would be 180 minus 90 plus 50 and now we will calculate this and we can get the answer directly and this answer is 32 degree so x value is 32 right x equals 32 so we have written all the steps uh, all the regions so i hope it is clear here's the c part point a b and c lie on a circle with center o we can see it is a center and a b c are the point on the circle angle a o c angle a o c is 142 find the value of b, y and from a and c we can see the angle at center angle at center is 142 from this side if we see this diagram from this side then we can get the two angles one is this this angle center at the uh, angle at the center from a and c and again in the same direction this direction we can see a and c making the angle at the circumference as y so by the property that angle at the center is always double of the angle at this uh, boundary on the same side this angle is going to be 2y and we can see 2y plus the remaining angle 142 if we'll add it will be a complete angle that is 360 degree and that's why y would be 360 minus 142 and then whole divide by so 360 minus 142 divided by 2 is 109 degree and that's the answer of uh, and that's the value of y i hope it is clear let's discuss the next question now now here we have question number 4 a part a uh, shop gives each of 1000 people a voucher 28 people uses the, use their voucher a shop this shop now gives each of 16,500 people a voucher calculate how many of these 16,500 people are expected to use their voucher so from here we will get the average of the people who are using the voucher because out of three out of thousand only 28 of them are using out of thousand 28 are using the voucher so out of 1650 it would be 1600 uh, sorry 16500 the number of person who will use it it is going to be 16500 into 28 over 1000 and we'll cancel these two and now we can solve it is of one mark directly we'll calculate from calculator and this is going to be this upon 10 and the answer is 462 people out of 16,500 462 people will use these vouchers and here is the B part in a class activity all the 15 students wear hats 7 students wear red hats 6 students wear green hats and 2 students wear white hats first part is one of these students is picked one of these students only one is picked at random find the probability that this student wears a red hat so we'll use a simple probability definition probability of some event is the uh, number of favorable outcome over the total outcome so here the favorable is red hat so we can see the number of students who have who wear red hat is seven so it is going to be seven upon the total number total number of students are 15 so it is 7 over 15 so the answer is 7 over 15 second part is two of the 15 students are picked at random show that the probability that these two students wear hats of the same color is 37 over 105 so we have to be very careful with the denominator 
if we are choosing two students out of 15 so suppose there are 15 students and i have chosen one student it means there are only 14 students for the second pickup so it, it, the case is to uh, the, these two students wear hats of the same color so there are three colors red green and white so it means either both of the students will wear red or both of them wear green or both of them wear white in these cases so we are using r so it is mean it means that we are finding the probability of r and r plus probability of green and green and then probability of white and white so this we'll calculate first students we are a seven uh, we are red hat is seven out of 15 now there are only 14 students because one student has been chosen so the next one will again the probability of getting the red uh, student who wear red hat since we have chosen one so there are only six left out of total 14 similarly for green initially it is 6 over 15 see it is or means this case is over now we are talking about the green so 6 into 6 over 15 into the next one green is already left so 5 over 50, uh, 14 plus the next for white so 2 over 15 now one has been chosen so only one student is left over 14 so we are going to calculate this so denominator we can see 15 into 14 which is 210 everywhere it is 210 so we can simply add the numerator 7 6 are 42 plus 7 6 5 are 30 plus oh, sorry it is 30 and plus 2 1 are 2 it means it is 74 over 100 and uh, sorry not 100 and it is 210 which when we'll simplify it is going to be divided by 2 we'll get 37 over 105 and that is what we need to show so i hope it is clear let's discuss the next part here's the third part three of the 15 students are picked at random find the probability that at least two of these three students wear red hats so out of three one two three two of them at least it means one case is only two are two red hat and the last case can be three all the three red hats red 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 so these are the two cases first thing this is clear because it is going to be red and red and red for this case out of three out of three places like out of three students any two can be uh, any two should wear red hat so it can be done like two red hat i will um, categorized in this way suppose this is the first one is red first students has uh, like wear red hat second also wear red hat but the third one is not wearing the red hat or it can be arranged in this way first one is wearing red hat second one is not wearing red hat and the third one is wearing red hat or it can be done in this way first one is not wearing red second one is wearing red and third one is also wearing red so these three can be done in uh, this this case can be done in this way and we can see that these probability are going to be same because every time number of uh, denominator is same and numerator is also same so we can simply do it in this way three times any one of it any one of it i'll choose the first one means three times probability of getting red red and not red so let's write it again seven students wear red hat and it was six students who wore uh, green hat and two were wearing the white ha um, hats so out of seven after seven 
we can collect them who are not wearing the red hat so we can we could have done it in this way also that after uh, we are taking two red and then either not uh, like green green and green and similarly for white 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 but it's fine when if you take only red and not red so now the probability would be three times sorry not two three times three times red red so first one wearing a red it's seven over 15 because there are seven second one again red so six over 14 because one has been chosen already and the last one not wearing red hat it means there are eight because we haven't chosen out of them eight over 13 so this is the one case or the another case is at least out of at least there can be a case where all the three were red hat so it would be first one red hat 7 over 15 multiplied by second also red so 6 over 14 or and the third one is also red it means 5 over 30 now we will calculate this we can see the denominator is going to be same 15 into 14 into 13 we get it as 2730 and numerator here the first one 3 into 7 into 6 into 8 which is 1008 plus 7 into 6 into 5 which is 210 now we will calculate this divided it is 200 uh, sorry 1200 18 we can see divided by 2730 divided by 2730 and the answer is 29 over 65 and that's the probability so that's it for this video we will discuss the rest questions in the next video till then thank you so much